Good morning, people. This is Ark Ben. Got another unboxing video. A book and comic book haul from Amazon. As you see the box. They put it in this type of box. Look like it's well packaged. I bought me uh, some books and comic books off of Amazon. So let's get right into it. Uh, got my knife. Make sure. Bearing with me. Get rid of it right quick. It's a big box too. So you know I order a haul, so let's see. Oh, that's a weak box, so oh, nothing. Hope all is well with y'all family. Let's get to see what we got up in here. Let's see what we've got. that to the side without further ado look what I order Sean James Godbreaker yeah I'm definitely gonna read this by Sean James John Haynes Godbreaker let's see Thunder on oh, hearing about John Haynes how defeated the Greek God the Natos Thor, Asgard's God of Thunder, believe John Han is a threat to men and gods. When he goes to confront John at the Java joint in Hell's Kitchen and sees him consorting with the demon, the liar, he believes he's justified in attacking him. Will the God of Thunder bring the hammer down on the man who rules the world? Or will John show the Thunder God the power of his Lord? Mm. Interesting. Now, a lot of people was hating, a lot of um, Thor fanboys was hating on this cover because they got a picture of John Haynes holding Thor's iconic hammer, Mjolnir. Man, let the haters hate. Keep doing your thing, Sean James. And then we got Esteem, Horror of the Hyena Woman. Basically, Esteem is going to be taking on a villainous a hyena, were hyena. You know, now were hyenas, that's part of African mythology. You don't see too many lycanthropes being promoted from African mythology. You know, like, wear hyenas, wear lions, wear rhinos, wear elephants, wear leopards, you know, wear zebras. That's lycanthropes based off of African um, mythology, you know. So it's good to see something new, you know, a wear hyena. And, of course, they got Power Rangers team up with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. It's part of my childhood right here, y'all. 1990s, I'm an 80s baby, growing up in the 90s, Power Rangers and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles was a big part of my childhood, so this should be an interesting collaboration. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers team up with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, yeah, definitely must read that. And I got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the Armageddon Games, opening moves, look like they're going to be teaming up with their arch rival, the Shredder, this should be an interesting story. The Armageddon Games. And then I got a hardcover graphic novel. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, The Last Ronin. So this is interesting. Now this is a good read. A lot of people guy gave this good reviews. This take place like in a distant, far future. Only one turtle survived. Only one turtle survived. He liked the long turtle. I'm not gonna reveal, I'm not gonna reveal who it is. Y'all can find out, go research it. I already know who it is, but I'm not going to reveal it on you. You know, because I know some people, they sensitive to spoilers. You know, let's see. The future. You see, I paid 19 something, like $19, $20 for this on Amazon. You see, in a bookstore, I would have paid $30 for it. So, it's good to get things off of Amazon. It's cheaper prices on Amazon. Let's see, the future of New York City is a deal. A high tech, a high tech urban battlefield controlled by the Foot Clan and their cybernetic soldiers, but from the wastelands outside the wall stalk a lone surviving turtle, the last Ronin on a hopeless mission to end his family's feud once and for all, carrying only the mementos of those he left behind. He will join new and old allies to reclaim the sewers or die trying. From legendary Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles co-creators Kevin Eastman and Peter Lord. Laird. 
there's you see that's the creators Kevin Eastman and Peter Lord comes a story of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles three decades in the making wow 30 years in the making this should be a good story who is the long who is the last Ronin yeah that's a good question find out by reading a graphic novel you know the last Ronin you got the Armageddon games See, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles have faced many enemy ninjas, government agents, fellow mutants, and alien arms. But now they must confront the machinations of an actual demigod. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yeah. You know, if you grew up in the 90s, Ninja Turtles and Power Rangers was part of your childhood, you know. Yes, indeed. The original Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Then you got the Green Ranger on the front. Yep, that's my um haul, my book and comic book haul from Amazon. I don't care, I like the cover. You know, you got John Hands holding Menorah here. A lot of people was giving him some kickback. Basically, it was these uh, racist fan bars in the fandom. Sean Jans, man, to hell with these damn heathens. Keep doing what you're doing. You know, they don't want to see a black man wielding a powerful weapon or having a, or, um, being powerful on the front cover. You know, it's an attack on black masculinity anyway. So, I'm looking forward to see how this is going to play out. How John Hands will take on Thor. You know, it should be interesting. I advise y'all to buy his books, you know, Sean James. I will do a review on them after I read them because it ain't going to take long to read. Look, you could read that in probably maybe to an hour or two. All depend on how fast you read, you know. Depend on how fast you read. But take your time, you know. Now these comments will probably take me a... I could read these in a day too, you know, if I don't get too caught up doing other things. But I like the cover. Mm -hmm. Got some interesting characters on here. That's one thing about the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles universe. You got all types of characters. Even when they had the action figures back in the 90s. Man, they had so many characters. I'd be like, who's this character? I don't even know who this is. Had all types of characters. Yeah, this hard, it's a hard cover right here. The graphic novel. Yeah, because I seen this at um, Books a Million in Lafayette, and it was about like $29.99. So I said, I'm going to Amazon, you know, get it for cheaper. You know, it was like $19.99 on Amazon. Can't beat that. Let's see how much this was at a bookstore. Oh, you see, $19.99? That's not bad. Let's see how much this one was. $19.99. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's good to shop online. You get it cheap, cheap prices, you know. And of course, Sean James, he don't have no price on his book, you know, because uh, you know, I guess because he don't um, uh, it must be limited quantities. I don't know, but you could buy his books on Amazon either in Kindle format or physical copies. Mm hmm. Yeah, I just wanted to show that it came in the mail today. Yeah, 
Yeah, so so far this is all the stuff I had ordered off Amazon this year. You know, my little collection there. Eh? Got me a little collection. <laughs> got a lot of reading to do. <laughs> yes, indeed. Got me a lot of reading to do. I got to check this one. I got to read this one. Black Sands. I'm definitely going to get volume two and volume three of Black Sands. That's probably going to be next on the list. And now I got me some old school stuff. Ninja Turtles. The Power Rangers. You know, and of course, John Hands in the Steam. But all right, fam, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this video short. I'm just pan the camera around. I'm just pan the camera around. But you know, if you're into comics. You know, reading books, I advise you to go check some of these out, you know. Check them out. You know, especially if it's comics done by our people. You know. But all right, I'm going to go ahead and cut this video short. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section. Like, share, and subscribe. You know, and I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace.